Look, let's be honest, most of us wouldn't have got through the last 18 months if it wasn't for screen time. And I'll be really honest, I would not be getting through moving house if it wasn't for screen time. When I'm working from home and my husband's working from home and we're trying to get the house packed up and moved and then run all the different errands that you need to do and if we don't use screen time sometimes then <laughs> that's what happens my toddler draws on the walls so yes we know that we need to limit screen time yes 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 but let's not feel guilty about using screen time as a tool in home education so you've asked for the top five tv shows that the twinkle team might recommend so i surveyed the twinkle team and asked them what their kids favorites were and that's what we're going to share now with each of the different top five i'm going to give you a bit of a triple whammy i'm going to give you the tv show i'm going to give you a little tip i guess on using that for screen time different ways that you can use screen time and then i'm going to show you a twinkle resource that links up really nicely with this so number one our first tv show is horrible histories that's been a firm favorite for lots of kids and some of us as adults when we were younger for a long long time there are books there are tv shows it's an irreverent take at history where it shows a lot of the gruesome and the quirky bits of things that have happened in the past the reason why I think this is a good one for home education is because it really hooks children in and interests them so that your kids can watch it and it'll really spark interest. So that's the tip that I want to give to you. You can watch a TV show with your children to see what it sparks in them. If they suddenly become really interested in something from it, then you've kind of unlocked part of their interest that you can then develop further in your home ed. And a great resource, we've got lots of history packs in Twinkle. This one, Riotous Royalty, would fit in really nicely with the Horrible Histories kind of vibe. But there are lots of others for all different ages, all different topics that give you resources, that give you worksheets, that give you PowerPoints, um, things to stick up on your wall, all sorts of activities that you can do for when your kid wants to jump into a subject really deeply. TV show number two is quite different. It's Octonauts. You've probably heard of it. It's a lovely cartoon where a team of Octonauts of different creatures travel around the world, mainly under the sea, to meet different creatures and they do a creature report on each of those different creatures that they meet. Now, this is a fantastic one if you are doing unit studies with the kind of five to seven age range, although older children and younger children are like this too. So if you have spent the morning doing some kind of sensory activity and then you've done some maths that are linked to you, counting fish or whatever it might be, you maybe have read some non-fiction together and you just need to catch a little break, but your kid is really keen to just keep diving deeper, no pun intended, into the world of the under the water. So a TV show like this is a really great one to put on because it's full of facts and information, but it's really easy for them to ask access and watch and great resource to do if you're going to use something like the octonauts is this learning passport we used it when we had a home learning hub that covered it in the home education facebook group but you can use this at any time basically you pick some different activities from twinkle or from the octonauts or from your own things that you're doing and every time your kid has done it they get to cut out one of these little shapes and stick it in their learning passport and it's a lovely way for them to look back at what they've been doing and, and kind of see their own progress and I just think it's a really lovely resource to look at as well. Number three is one of my kids favourites it's the Odd Squad and it's I actually quite enjoy watching this one it's a team of kids who travel around to solve strange puzzles and mysterious happenings and they use maths to unlock the answer it's a in some ways quite a silly show it's quite comedic and it's just it's a really fun watch but they start to introduce different concepts this is my pick for if you are having a day where if you could you would phone a supply teacher to come in or if you had family living close you would want them to come and take over because you're feeling sick you're just having one of those off days but your kids are as lively as ever then this is a great tv show for sick days because it's really fun to watch it's got lovely plots to it but it does throw in that maths as well 
And then if you've already got these printed off, the Maths Mysteries from Twinkle, which are really popular, are an excellent link to this because you could will be all excited about Odd Squad, hopefully, and then you can tell them they're going to do their own Odd Squad challenge. And you can lay on the sofa with your duvet and your hot chocolate and they can sit next to you and you can help them figure it out with as minimal activity as possible from you. So it's a great one for a sick day. At number four, I'm going to sneak in two because they're both science based and they both pair really nicely together. These would be great if you were doing a week to week session where you watch the TV show and then do an activity afterwards. So you kind of make a whole curriculum, a whole terms curriculum based on those. So we've got Ada Twist Scientist. Ada Twist is a girl who is enjoying science, is really into it. And with her friends, she solves a lot of problems using science and introduces lots of science vocabulary like high hypothesis and it's just really really fun. It would be great to use this with our science and inventors pack because at the end of every episode they have a real life female scientist coming on and sharing about their job and some of the things that they're excited about so then you could do your own inventor or scientist study as well and make a lovely kind of pack full of all the people that you've met during the show. And then we've got Emily's Wonder Lab. Emily is a scientist. She's written books as well that your children might love. And she's heavily pregnant in this show, which I think is fantastic representation as well. She takes a different topic each week and does fun experiments with a team of kids and then demonstrates how you could do some of that at home. So that would be a really easy one to do for your science for a while. You could watch the show, try and do the experiment at home and then use some of our scientific investigation sheets to write up what you've done. So great science topic and curriculum that you could do very easily. In at number five, we've got Deadly 60. So it's a wildlife documentary show that highlights some of the world's deadliest animals. Now, this will be a great one, and you might not have thought of this way of using TV shows, but to do for group meetups. So you can all at home watch a particular episode and then get together and do some more learning about that in a group setting. These card games will be fantastic for that so that you could print those off, you could take them along and they can compare and contrast different creatures as well. Or you might just want to do some art based on it or some fact files. But using a TV show for a group setting might be a really great way of helping build a little bit of structure into those but without putting extra um, responsibilities on the parents to constantly be thinking of things or you could even watch it together and the parents can chill out a little bit while that happens and then play the games afterwards it'd be really fun and interesting way of getting your kids together and sharing interest with others so I hope that works. I hope you don't feel guilty about screen time because it can be a really powerful tool that we can use. So enjoy it. Enjoy having a couple while your children watch some of these and I'll see you next time.